My name is Keith Iaea. I'm with Revolution CNG located in Paso Robles, California. And today we're at our hometown station uh, located at Paso Robles Waste in Paso Robles, California. This is the station that I originally designed and built seven years ago. Uh, the station was designed for growth and over the past seven years the owner has been fortunate to enjoy uh, fairly significant growth and so as a result recently we just uh, concluded a, a very extensive uh, station expansion and I'd like to give you a little tour of, of what we've done and talk about some of the features. So at this particular site uh, we've got 40 pounds of inlet pressure being provided by the utility which is adequate but uh, the performance of the system could be improved dramatically by increasing that inlet pressure to the primary CNG compressor. And so Bauer came up with a very unique way of accomplishing that goal. And that goal was accomplished by installing uh, one of their GRU rotary screw compressors, which we have over here, and I'll show it to you. The rotary screw compressor takes the 40 pounds of inlet pressure supplied by the utility and boosts it up to as much as 160, 180 PSI um, and, and does so using a variable frequency drive uh, that allows us to match the output of the machine exactly to the input requirements of the compressor. And that can come in very handy down the road uh, when this customer in particular is interested in potentially installing an, an anaerobic digester which they would use to digest their green waste and make their own renewable natural gas. Um, so uh, this is gonna pay some big dividends in the future. Right now we use it just to boost the performance of the 26.12 uh, XFIL CNG compressor, which I'll show you now. Here we are at the 2612 machine. Uh, this is one of the larger machines produced by Bauer. It's a four stage CNG compressor. Uh, it's a direct drive. It's also variable frequency drive. Uh, this machine has a very unique feature in that it is also liquid cooled. It's one of the only liquid cooled CNG compressors on the market, perhaps the only one. Um, and what we see from that is much more stability across the operating range of the machine, much, much less thermal cycling. It's a lot easier on the cylinder heads. Uh, provides a more consistent output and we expect that the longevity of this machine will be improved as a result of the liquid cooling. The cooling fans on this machine are also on variable frequency drives of their own which is kind of nice just for creature comfort if you will because uh, they don't have to run at 100% all the time. They'll start out running very low and then they'll increase in RPM in response to whatever the heat load is on the machine so quite often they're running at a speed that's so low that you don't even hear them. This enclosure is separated into two compartments. One compartment houses the compressor itself. The other compartment locates the cooler, which supplies the liquid cooling for the machine. Um, it's a very, very well thought out, very well done system. Uh, it's, it's just been trouble free. We've probably got, I guess, about six of these machines installed throughout Central California now. And, uh, and we've had absolutely no trouble with the cooling system and it's, it's proven to be very consistent. Here we have the Bauer IntelliFlow priority panel. It's a very full featured panel. It has its own PLC control, which gives us tremendous uh, functionality as opposed to machines where they scab the control for the priority panel onto the compressor itself. This one is a standalone unit. It's very full featured. The top off routines are very sophisticated. It really helps to ensure that your storage gets filled to the target that you're shooting for and not, not some lower number. Um, it has the ability to fill two time fill lines so that if you have a paying customer, for example, that wants to occupy a second line, you can put a meter on that line and control that line separately. The other thing that we like about the IntelliFlow panel, and this applies as well to the GRU and to the XFIL, is that they're all linked to the Bauer Connect remote communications system. Uh, that system enables uh, anyone from my company or anyone else we designate to monitor these systems remotely in real time and, and even to make calibration adjustments by qualified technicians remotely uh, from, from anywhere in the world that has a computer uh, attachment. And basically, uh, from a remote location, we can do anything that we could do standing in front of the PLC. We can do it remotely. Um, so that really helps us 
You know, we've got such a large service area. We've got facilities from San Francisco to Yuma, Arizona. And I couldn't do what I do without the ability to monitor these machines remotely. And that comes with the Bauer Connect. It's an option on all Bauer machines. I don't even consider it an option. I include it on every machine I sell. Ian, when we built this station for you uh, seven years ago or so, uh, you started with six trucks. I've noticed that the fleet has really grown over the years, and obviously that's part of why we've done this big expansion. But talk a little bit about your motivation behind growing the fleet and what your experience has been in terms of maybe any efficiencies or savings you've realized along the way associated with dedicating apparently over half of your fleet to CNG. When we built the station, we wanted to build a full service station. We wanted it to be something that the community could use and travelers and uh, fleets from other areas passing through. At that time, we committed to switching the rest of the fleet over to CNG. So as our fleet has uh, aged out, we've been replacing with CNG. So started with six and uh, by the end of this year, we'll be up to 18. And several advantages to the natural gas, obviously the clean air benefits, which in California is, is a big deal. Um, but also convenience. You know, these trucks come in every night and they plug in and they are fueled automatically. We're not paying the labor of a driver sitting at a, a gas pump as you would with diesel sure. and whatnot. The fuel itself is obviously much cheaper and a big deal for solid waste haulers because we're generally working under contracts um, with complicated rate setting uh, processes, but the, the fuel price is much more stable with CNG. 2014 when we built this, we had fairly recently just experienced you know, 2008, 2009 fuel price spikes. We were seeing diesel in California hit almost $5 a gallon. Um, that's really hard to deal with with a solid waste contract sure. uh, yeah. when the rate setting is just so difficult. Right. Right. So CNG is stable and easy and predictable and makes it much easier to uh, do our core business, which is hauling solid waste. And talk to me a little bit about the gas that you're using, because I understand you've recently switch to 100% renewable natural gas. How difficult was that and what are the benefits? It's very easy to switch to renewable natural gas. And we're trying to regulate carbon emissions and methane. And so uh, dairies and wastewater treatment plants and lots of facilities like that are, are generating methane. They're capturing it and selling it as renewable natural gas. And we can purchase that, dispense it into our trucks. The ability to run a uh, closed loop fuel, you know, a truly sustainable fuel made a lot of sense to us. One of the more interesting and unique features of this big upgrade we've done for you, Ian, is the addition of this GRU9 screw compressor, which in the case of the station as it exists today, enables us to take your inlet pressure from the utility, which is roughly 40 PSI, and, and boost it to well over 100 PSI, uh, and thereby vastly improve the performance of your Exfil CNG compressor, but I understand that you also have uh, an interest in this screw compressor for some potential other applications, and I'd like you to tell us a little bit about that. Well, we've got a compressed natural gas fleet, obviously, and that fleet is burning methane gas. Methane's the primary gas in natural gas. We've got a compression facility, and since we're a solid waste hauler, we're hauling yard waste and food waste and other organic materials. So the only thing missing in that would be an anaerobic digester to turn that organic material into renewable natural gas. Hey. And uh, this GRU screw compressor um, is the tool that you would need to take that low pressure uh, gas from the digester and get it up to a suitable pressure to be compressed into uh, a CNG vehicle. Excellent. Well, you know, you guys are always thinking ahead and I, I like that about you guys. I'll be excited to see that. Be a fun next upgrade. What was it about Bauer that made you choose to stick with the Bauer and, and go with such a large system? Our first Bauer served us well for seven years. It's been a workhorse and it's, it's been a good machine. Um, we, we planned from the get-go to do a station um, upgrade in the future. It was time to get a bigger compressor to, uh, to match the increased demand we're seeing at the pump. Reliability and their track record combined with the innovation um, made it an easy choice. These are machines that require some upkeep, so talk a little bit about the service you received. The, the machines have text and email capabilities, so they're constantly alerting us and you to their, their status. Anything that comes up, you, you know, we know about it instantly, and, and Revolution CNG, you guys have been on it in terms of just immediately responding or logging in through your computer to see what's going on. And, 
making sure they're tip top. Makes it easy for us to provide great service on these machines is the support we get from Bauer. I've said many times, you know, they, they make me look good, which helps me look good to you. It's hard to service a machine the way we do if you don't have 24 seven backup from your manufacturer and we get that from Bauer. So that's, yeah. that's a big part of what helps us look so good in, in front of so many of our customers. So I appreciate that. You guys always show up with the right tools and parts when you need them and keep them, keep them running and keep these trucks fueled. It's great. great.